Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're taking a look at some live action One Hive Genesis versus North Watchers. Um, this is the first CWL war, CWL war in a while. Uh, we had the break for Thanksgiving for the in game war league system, and now here we are going at it back at CWL. Good to be back, and already have some attacks that have gone on. Uh, oh, looks like we have a live. I'm going to be showing lives on both sides. Probably going to be mostly Town Hall 10s. I'll be hanging out for an hour or two, catching some attacks, which is why it's probably going to be mostly Town Hall 10s hitting right now. Um, but I will also see if I can stream the end of this war so you guys can see the ending of it, the Town Hall 12 action, all that exciting stuff. But these should be some very fun Town Hall 10 attacks. So far, we're 0 for 2. They're 0 for 1. Uh, 10 v 10 very early in the war just about 20 minutes in and they're going straight up frozen witch here um, Heroes coming in a little bit late. This actually is not quite frozen witch um, in terms of having two golems, which is very interesting uh, The decision to bring the golems here. I think to maybe better protect those witches initially not exactly sure here But um, we'll see how this one plays out everything moving through the freezes are pretty good There's some good value to be gotten I don't think the, um, we talk about the bowler bomb, didn't quite get as far as maybe would have been nice to get a little bit farther, maybe be able to take out this compartment, get these back end defenses, but this is looking very good. Um, heroes are healthy, witches on the outside are actually pretty healthy, although they might go down to this wizard tower right here, um, but looking pretty good. Um, things veering off to the right as they often do to one side, and like I said, um, not breaking that wall with the wall wrecker maybe made this a little bit harder than it needed to be. Um, another freeze might have helped push to that next layer, but the skeleton shot through, and now some of the bowlers are going to be able to make their way through. These are two golems, I think, that are almost at full health, which is extremely surprising. I mean, actually, that's a giant in there. Is there another golem? No, maybe it's one golem and a giant, but that golem is just going to sit there and tank. Um, this is looking very good unless there's any trickiness on the outside, uh, which there often is with giant bombs and whatnot. But both heroes are very uh, healthy. Golems tanking in the middle. Okay, are there two golems? Yes, there are two full health golems somehow. They kind of just have been spectators this attack. Plus a giant who's about to die to that mortar. Um, a good attack. Uh, the base was definitely calling for it by having those infernos all very accessible from the middle there. So that'll be the first attack. It'll be a triple. Oh, but wait, there's a troll Tesla. Um, I think time's going to be okay here. There's still like 45 seconds, but a um, little surprise there. Look at these golems walking all the way out over there. Um, yeah, this one is going to be a triple. Good job to them pulling off their first 10v10 of the afternoon. And uh, we'll just wait for this Tesla to go down. Let's see if these golems take it out on their own here. Maybe, maybe not. A little help from the skeletons. Maybe the queen. And there we go. All right, guys. Uh, but as I was saying here, um, we have 0 for 2 and 1 for 2. So very early on, we'll catch some more Town Hall 10 action. Be right back. Okay, and this is just like a second after I ended that last clip. Um, I, if, if I had talked one more, if I had said one more word, I would not have even had to cut away. This is very recent after, and let's see what we got going here. This is a um, Electron attack using the uh, Sui Electro Dragon. Gonna freeze that Inferno, interesting. Um, to get, give a little more time for that Electro Dragon. Can I get one more hit? That would be huge. No, that air defense in the middle is going to stay up. Um, not incredible value there. Not as much value as you'd like to see, perhaps. Um, so far, the other two hits have both been uh, Electro Dragon hits on the same base, one trying to clean up the other. Both very, very close, but not quite getting the triple. Here we go, though, um, with a... Uh, another attempt at an Electron attack here. Both Infernos up. I'm not liking those Infernos, but even more importantly, there's still quite a bit of Wizard Towers, and uh, that Sweeper shouldn't be an issue. But the Wizard Towers are very unfriendly for these attacks because you don't have spells. It's hard to move these balloons. There's, there's a lot of HP. Um, he only has a poison for some of those air skellies, I guess, um, which should be used pretty soon here once the air skellies group up, as well as, is he out of haste? Oh, he dropped both hastes in the same place. 
definitely gonna hurt. This one actually wasn't looking too bad here, but that might be a deciding factor, not being able to speed up those balloons. Although there is still quite a few. Kenny kind of swarmed these last few defenses here. There are a lot of balloons left up. He's still sitting on a, uh, a poison. I guess the Skellies died to other means. And this one, in the absence of like three red bombs, is gonna be a triple there. Um, wow, gets it done even with the swagged uh, haste spell. Nano John redeeming himself after um, the early fail on the other base. So good stuff, um, a, a very nice attack, and this is a powerful strategy. A lot of these bases, you know, they're not even calling for it necessarily, but you can really fit it to a lot of different bases. Um, got decent value in the core, and then just overwhelmed it with the balloons, even though he essentially only used one spell and that's one haste spell on his Lalo so um, we will give the woo as we typically do and we'll sit back and wait for some more attacks all right here we go <clears throat> uh, we have iffy going live here just hopped into this one it is a fresh hit I believe on this base if I saw that correctly and it is going to be a nice hog attack here. Um, always love watching these. Let's see, both heroes are pretty lined up, so if the kill squad gets far enough, which I'm not sure it will, looking at how that wall wrecker, actually no, it was a giant that was locked onto the wall wrecker, avoided that inferno. It might get through that wall, that'd be huge. Get through that wall, yeah. It opened up one more wall there. Um, so this was like a pretty decent push for not investing a whole lot in the kill squad. Everything went in, the funnel was good, has a few bowlers doing work in the middle. Um, the queen, she might get a little weird here and not go into the base. Um, let's see what she tries to do. Yeah, she's very far away, which isn't terrible, but she's going to go around the outside, grab another few buildings, then probably die to that inferno. The king did his job, got the defensive queen taken out. Pathing is decent throughout the base, a little, more, a little wider than what we'd like to see typically, which the queen could have helped out with. Um, nice one hog here on that bomb tower, and it's going to get it, so that's nice there. Um, little split there, getting the bomb tower for one hog. Um, king and bowler doing cleanup. Queen's ability is looking really good. The king is still up, the defensive king. Uh, there's one heal. The poison still sitting on it, maybe waiting for some skellies. Uh, pretty good placement on that last heal. Had to cover the bomb tower, the wizard tower for the most part. Get that poison down, there you go. Skellies will die, King will be uh, weakened for sure, and the Hogs should be able to finish him off. They're only, yeah, they're about two thirds health. Um, we'll see what goes on here. The King is still being triggered by something. He has that alarm. He's going for those goblins, which I think is gonna be okay. Um, as long as he doesn't mess with, yeah, there's still a minute left. Yeah, this is definitely over. Uh, awesome attack, plenty of time. Don't even have to worry about the cleanup, really. There's enough hogs left up, so uh, GG. The funnel was everything, and as it often is in a hog attack, getting the kill squad where it needs to go, or pretty much any uh, hybrid type attack like this. So good stuff, and um, we will back out and take a look at one or two more attacks to, to kind of complete this video. But um, so far, we're hitting around, I think, 50%, a little below. They're hitting a little above, but it's so early. Um, we're gonna have to wait for the numbers to really come in here at Town Hall 10 before we can get an idea of how this is gonna uh, start to turn out. So, lots of bases called. Should see some more attacks momentarily. Okay, look who's getting attacked now. Um, here's my base, if you were curious. <laughs> um, let's see how it... Oh, and the queen died. All right, I will take... <laughs> Okay, that was quite a way to enter this attack here. Um, am I even recording? Okay, good, I'm recording. Um, that would kind of suck if I was just talking to myself here. And the wizard's going down. That wizard walk isn't going anywhere either. Um, this one looks like it's falling apart, but uh, it was supposed to be a queen charge hog attack, which um, honestly would have been a, a solid move here. I'm not sure, he has wall breakers. I'm not sure where, where those would have been used. It was kind of unclear, maybe like down at the bottom here. Um, but the the idea was, and look, he's gonna go ahead and drop them. I have these little bombs there. I have one over there, um, which might've made it tricky for the wall breakers. But the idea, I think, was to start the queen, have her walk left, break her in. Uh, a little bit tricky with that multi-inferno, might reach out in some of those healers, but um, 
I, I think the back end hogging was a, a decent idea. There's not as many wizard towers or... Um, I, I won't give away too much in case... <laughs> To the secret of my base in case this is uploaded before my base is actually like taken care of or three starred or whatever. Um, but he'll throw out the CC. Nice little scout this is turning into. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure what he's going to do at this point. Kind of taking his time here. Um, I guess he'll just try to scout the pathing. I don't know if they'll go with this plan again. But the, um, the Inferno Tower, okay, they don't block heal anymore, but. It seems like when your queen is being targeted by a multi-inferno, it does more than like the 40 or 50 DPS that it, it advertises in the stats. Which is weird, because um, it shouldn't, but it just has that feeling. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, if you can, if you agree, disagree. Um, but it seems like when the multi-inferno is on the queen, it seems like she just takes more damage than what it, it should be. Um, and it's harder to heal her. I don't know if there's like a fraction healing, I'm pretty sure there's not, um, but it's weird. Anyway, Hog's coming through. Uh, there are some of the traps being shown in my base, which is very nice, and um, yeah, uh, this will probably be attacked again for a cleanup hit later on, and hopefully it'll survive long enough. Um, oh, the Discord thing's not there. Um, I hope I have myself muted, yes I do. Uh, it'll survive long enough for a dip attack and not be tripled by a 10 but we'll see that was a fun one um we'll watch one more then we'll wrap up this video all right didn't have to wait long for this one either um this will be our last attack we take a look at so i'll give you guys a nice little taste of the early 10v10 action from this war and like i said um looking to do a stream this is us attacking electron um fresh hit as far as i saw um and get that queen, get that queen, one hit will do it, there you go. Uh, looking very good, I think the value was, was solid. This Electro Dragon is going to get one more hit off, get some good damage all around. Um, I think that was a pretty good electro, uh, Electron push right there. Um, and now we'll see what he does with the heroes. I would maybe use them on the left, yeah there he goes. Um, and then really it's a, a relatively straightforward Lalo. Now one of the things with Electron that I think is often not advertised enough is that you, you you have a lot of of balloons you have a lot of lava hounds because you're using all your spells and just your battle plimp and your heroes you're not using troop space so the one thing you don't have is spells you only have like three haste and a poison if there are too many wizard towers up um and there's too many expos but wizard towers especially that is what is going to hurt this lalo so as you can see here not terrible um, this one, Wizard Tower, is fairly straightforward to get. Um, the pathing's good into it. Queen will help with this Tesla farm. And then the other Wizard Tower is a little out of the way. Shouldn't be a huge issue unless it just starts destroying balloons here. The Queen's helping as well. But it's, it's very straightforward to Lalo into air defenses, cannons, archer towers. Um, buildings that don't do splash damage, don't have a lot of hit points. That's what you want left up in these Electron attacks. Um, especially because they'll lock onto your Lava Hounds if you have some Lava Hounds still up, as we do right here. Come on, lock onto that Lava Hound. Um, these Expos are kind of playing, but <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be a triple. He has solid four or five Balloons left up. Um, there is that Hound, but there's also a lot of Minions and Pups, plus the King and the Queen. The Queen is like, she got low and she was, was taking out Teslas with like one hit point left. I think she'll go down right here, or maybe not. She's going to, oh, okay, one of the Lava Pups got her. Uh, but this one's a triple. Nice job to never be sad. Um, and we will wrap up this video. So like I said, be looking for a stream coming uh, around, uh, what would it be, Pacific time, like 1.30, 2pm for me um, to get the last like 30 minutes to an hour of this war. I'll be looking to do that. I haven't done it in a while, so it'd be kind of cool to get that for you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you later. Bisectatron out.